Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones setups for today. So, um, yeah, as expected yesterday, nothing really happened. We did get a, a massive uh, tail, or pin bar, should we say, on the 8th hour with follow through. So, this is still my line in the sand. We're just above it at the moment, 38.050. But um, I think when we've drilled down through the time frames, we are going to see. Uh, quite a bit of structure here, so I just want to get this high in as well. That's 38,104. Um, nothing really more to talk about there on the hour. Oh, sorry, on the three hour. On the hour, moving average crossover, we're back up above the 150. So this is a solid area of what could be support if we get going through it. I'm just going to put one more level in, so that covers all these tails, as you can see. Uh, I'm not convinced yet, so you know there is a gap. I'd expect price to come back down to 37.986 and just close this gap. So I want to leave that gap open and then continue to the upside. But I want a bigger move higher and then a steep pullback to come and test this area to turn it into support. So at the moment, this zone is not quite support yet i think it's more resistance at the moment now looking at the 50 minute you can see the logic here uh, strong move down when we did the video with all the war noise and then fizzled out as sanity prevailed uh, so for me i want seven i want three seven nine eight six to close so i do want price to come back on a bounce off i'm not looking to take that long um, the long I'm looking for is a clear break of 38,100 and a retest. Then I'll be looking for the longs. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at this. This is a strong area of resistance at the moment. So you want price to move past and then come back and test it. And that should give us the opportunities to the upside. But everything on the hour, look at the moving averages. We just need the 150 to cross over the other moving averages. And then we have a fairly strong setup broom. But for now, this is top of range, and you don't want to be trading off that. So uh, wait for the gap to close. Gap should close, and then move back up. And when we break 39,100 after the gap, we want the break and then the retest. That's your signal to start looking for those longs. And uh, this will be a great area to buy the longs off. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.